inside the art fair and uh, we're just going to talk about the layout before we start. So kind of in the middle. On that end over there where all the contemporary shit is. And on that end over there is where all the boring stuffy shit is. And that's the layout. And at a certain point you kind of hit somewhere in the middle. Like over there. Somewhere in the middle you can reach the dividing line between boring shit and interesting shit. There are exceptions, but most of it is pretty cut and dry. So we're starting with the interesting shit. I'm just looking at the label right now. So that's Bevan Ramsey, Neapolitan Dream. Materials, all right, just look at that shit. That thing, right there. Bone, high density foam, paper, PVC, lacquer. So, we've got basically this human skull form tapering in this almost bubble gum pattern into a spheroid at the bottom. A, we could talk about this shit in terms of form and balance. It's a pretty sweet ass sculptural work. You could talk about it formally. And by formally, I mean like, you know, you got this really symmetrical form that's kind of nice to look at. But on top of it, dude, that's a fucking human skull on top. So image wise, it's fucking badass. Sure, it's in candy colored pink. But if you're listening material is bone, are we saying that that's a fucking human skull in that piece? For $3,400? That's a pretty cheap human skull, I must say. Where are you going to get a human skull for $3,400? I don't fucking care. I want one. I don't have $3,400, though. looking at the map there's one over on the other side that we saw yesterday that was fucking awesome i don't know the name of the gallery but we should probably go find out full name josh morden josh what have you seen that fucking kicks ass be honest the pig the chicken Pigs and chickens do kick ass. Is anything else worth mentioning? Not much. Everything else you, um, in a nutshell, dismiss because? It's standard. I've seen it before. Too easy? Very much too easy. All right. Fair enough. Indeed. I mean, you're looking for things that kind of surprise you. I mean, there are stuff that, I, there is stuff that I've seen before that kind of kicks ass. Have you been to Christopher Cuts yet? I haven't made it past there yet. Baby fucking unicorn. On a table. I'll have to see that. You go see the baby fucking unicorn. That's pretty interesting. But everything else is standard. I agree. Alright, let's go see some antlers. recording this at the end, but we're going to put it at the beginning through the magic of editing. I'm with Andrea Carson from VOCA, which is short for... View on Canadian Art. Alright, so we've turned around, we've looked at some shit. You've turned around and you've looked at some shit. Uh -huh. What have you seen that you would define as being badass? Badass. Well, I saw some uh, Gathy, a Gathy Falk sculpture, which is a bronze sculpture of snowballs. That was pretty badass, I would say. Why would you say it's badass? Uh, why would I say it's badass? Well, because I really liked it, and, uh, and, and when you take two snowballs off the top of the sculpture, because it's just a maquette, 
kind of looks like an ass. Okay, that's pretty so good. it's badass. All right, fair <laughs> enough. So, I mean, when you're talking about sculptures of snowballs, are we actually talking about somebody who's taken the time to actually cast snowballs? Or are we talking about somebody who has simulated snowballs out of, say, clay or wax or something, and then cast them in bronze? Well, that's a good question. Personally, to me, they didn't look like snowballs. They looked like paper, scrunched up paper. So I don't know if she used you know, paper as the original thing and then cast the paper, if that's even possible. But um, Gathy Falk is a major sort of feminist Canadian artist from back in the day, and she still lives in Vancouver. She's about 85 or so. So I'm going to say I doubt she actually cast the snow. Okay. But I don't know. And that could also be a regional thing. Unless she went <laughs> yes, up. that's right. That's but they right. did have quite a winter last year. We're with uh, Will Huffman from the Toronto Arts Council. Oh my God. And uh, so we're going to talk about anything that you've seen at this year's arts fair that you would qualify as badass. This is Toronto. There's nothing badass. There's absolutely nothing badass? Nothing badass. Anything then on that note that you found vaguely interesting? Vaguely interesting. It's a good question. I need time to contemplate. Pause oh, camera. I, it's, it's so funny because it's like this big wash of stuff, right? Like, you know, you kind of wander around and you know. Well, let's talk about that. Yeah, right. I don't know. I just, it's like, you know, the funny part is you look at Jeremy Lang's, you know, kind of shopping mall of art and you kind of get that sense here. It's also, I think this is probably a better opportunity for artists to meet people than it is, or for gallerists to meet people than it is to actually sell work. Yeah, it's just basically yeah. like a, a giant, massive fucking network. Because, you know, you see, like, there's somebody's really great little piece that's actually not quite as good as the really big piece that, you know, you're going to see at the upcoming show. And so it's kind of that little soup star. That, it's know, all the sneak peek. Sneak peek, yeah. I guess that's the way I look at it. It was interesting because the gallerists were saying that they felt that the galleries were being conservative, but that, in fact, the collectors were seemingly more adventurous than they have been. Well, they're also showing, if you compare this year's art fair to last year's art fair, last year's art fair was fucking pain. This year, I mean, you do have a shit pile of taxidermy. Yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, taxidermy seems to be all over the place these days. Taxidermy. It's badass. <laughs> it is. It, okay, you're right. We found the badass. <laughs> shit pile of taxidermy. That's right. Antlers are always good. Antlers, Antlers. deers, very yeah. masculine. It's true. It's true. And Canadian. Yeah. Fucking A. Thanks, Will. <laughs> you're welcome. Well done, Star. 